Have you ever wondered how hard or how tightly you should be squeezing the racket? Well, I pulled up this video of Djokovic here and uh, I wanted to point out uh, a couple things on his forehand. First, I wanted to take a look at his, his grip pressure. And if you notice right here um, on the very first shot before we roll the clip, his bottom two fingers are actually not squeezing at all, all right? Um, a lot of players think that you have to squeeze the grip relatively tightly. You simply just need to create enough pressure to maintain stabilization through your impact. But prior uh, to impact, as well as after impact, you'd be surprised how loose you could actually hold the racket. So um, we're going to roll the clip here. And I want, it, I want you to notice, watch his fingers. And there is the first time right there, I'm going to go back, that he actually starts to begin to apply a little bit of pressure to stabilize the racket. So it really just doesn't fall out of his hand. But if we kick it back a little bit, right here, again, through his preparation, um, he's exhibiting a lot of, uh, not a lot of, it's just a very little amount of, of grip pressure here. So we're going to roll it again. All right, so there it goes. He applies a little bit of pressure. And again, this is a bit hard to see, obviously. Um, but even in a slot position here, um, if, if 10 is as hard as you could squeeze it, he's maybe at a five, okay, somewhere in that range. He's really not using a lot of grip pressure. Again, as he uncoils through the impact, okay, and you can see here the release begins to happen. And again, if he was really squeezing tightly with his fingers, um, he would also be locking up his wrist. So you can see his racket begin to turn over here, all right? And he's not necessarily consciously thinking about that. That's just kind of happening uh, because of the looseness that he's able to create through his hand, through his forearm. So um, the, the, uh, the racket there is able to uh, turn over because of his grip pressure, all right? We're gonna go through one more time. We'll kick it forward to another clip, okay? And again, here, what I like about this, you'll see, is he's actually using his non-dominant hand. So the majority of the weight of the racket is actually in his left hand. And this also allow, allows, okay, his hitting hand, his right hand, to relax and just kind of chill out for a little bit. Um, and again, there it goes. There's the, the fingers. You can see he's extremely loose. Still, most of the weight is in his non-dominant hand. All right. And then as he begins to let go, of course, he's going to need to apply a little bit of pressure here so it doesn't fall out of his hand. But again, this is a situation where it may look like he's squeezing. He's, he's really not. Again, it's probably a four or five out of 10 grip pressure if I had a guess. All right. And, and it's simply just enough, even through his impact, just to maintain stabilization so the racket through impact doesn't fall out of his hand. Um, and again, you'll see the nice release, the racket turnover. And a lot of that is a product of being loose and fluid um, with your grip pressure. But anyways, I just wanted to point that out. Hopefully that's helpful. Stop over squeezing everybody. Just relax, chill out. All right. And let the racket just flow. Okay. Hope that's helpful. All the best.